Ladies, it's always better if you have your own. You don't want to waste your good years living with a man hoping that it's going to work out when you should be focusing on building your own foundation. You know, I will say that in life, there is no guarantees to anything. Everything is a risk. That includes relationships. You see, this independent thing that these women keep telling other women to do, it doesn't work. The proof is in the pudding. Just look at the stats. Just look at the state of the world. Look at the state of relationships. This independent thing has been going on for decades. Has it worked? No. So why keep telling women to do this same thing? Your own, your own home, your own this, your own that. So these women can get 35, 45, 50 years old and look back and say, damn, I wasted a lot of time. I wish I could have done things differently because that is what's happening to a lot of women because they keep listening to women like this, telling them to be so independent and living in fear. Something that you can call your own, your own home. A lot of times if the man asks you to move in, he's going to want you to pay half. So That's not true. And I know men that's watching this video will attest to that because men don't care about how much money a, a woman makes. Men care about the character. Is she nurturing? Is she, is, she a, is, she, is she a 304? Men care about those things. Men don't care about money. That's why men will date down or across the, at their same level. But women always want to date up. So this whole narrative is just garbage. Men are not caring about how much money a woman makes. Women today don't even want to go halves on a first date. They expect men to pay for the first date, the first interaction. So you mean to tell me that a woman is going to be willing to pay half? And the reason why she's even saying that is because she knows and she's a woman, too. And she knows that women don't want to give nothing to men. Women don't want to spend their money on men. How dare you ask a woman to give a man anything, especially in a relationship? So this whole thing about, oh, he's going to expect you to pay half. If you was moving in with a man, why wouldn't you want to pay half? So she's telling you, look, he's going to ask you for half. So don't do that. But it's not true. Men do not think about money like that when it comes to relationships. So half your money is going over there. When if you stay where you are, all of your money can go to building your own place, your own foundation. Your own place, your own foundation, your own independence, blah, 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 blah. How is that working out for society? How are the independent women doing today? I'll wait. Ladies, protect yourself. Protect your energy and your power. And don't move in with a man. It's a very bad idea. Protect yourself. Protect your power. Protect yourself from what? That's this whole living in fear narrative that a lot of women go by. What if? Well, just in case. Well, you got to protect yourself in case the man leave you, blah, 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 blah. Guess what? Men have to deal with that all the time. The laws are skewed in the woman's behalf. You don't think men live with that fear? Men are the actual ones that actually have that fear. Because when things go south, men, men are the ones that have to pay. Don't move in with the man. It's a bad idea. You notice when she said that she looked down to the side. I always notice that about these videos. When it comes to something that they know that they're not speaking the truth on, they start looking down, looking to the side because they can't even get it out straight because they know that it's not true. And women like this, this woman is a baby boomer. And for you young people, you need to understand what that means. There was a lot of people born during this time. It was like the gold rush of children being born. It was the gold rush of families. It was the gold rush of the nuclear family that was all together building younger. Now, this woman is telling you to spend all this time, get your own, get your house and all that. And this is exactly what women are doing. But it hasn't worked because what happens is a lot of these women stay so independent for so long. And then they get to a point where, you know what, I'm tired of doing it on my own. I'm tired of being independent. Now, all of a sudden, they want a man to come in and do something. For them or to be that knight in shining armor to be that traditional man and do all these type of things and it doesn't work out one you waited too long past your prime 
You don't deserve the same type of men that you could get in your early 20s. I know you don't want to hear this, ladies, but it's true. This is the sexual marketplace. It has nothing to do with who you are as a person. It has everything to do with your age, your vitality, um, your sexual history, all those things, nurturing, all those things, your character. That's what it has to do with, not money. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.